Hi guys, I'm Black. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Levi Refro. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I edit my covers for my Instagram pictures. And sometimes I use some of these pictures for my flyer. So we're going to be learning how to get like a clearer quality picture. So if it sounds like something you'd be interested in, please keep on watching. So I had to do a screenshot because I usually use screenshots. So I just drag the video and pick like the nice parts from the video that I actually like or that are befitting for picture purpose. So after doing the screenshots, I'm going to go back and then look at these pictures. So now you're going to look at this picture with the eye of a creative and also pick a picture that will sell the look from the hair to makeup to the outfit. So I already picked one and this is my other phone. I usually use this for all my edits, invoices and all of that. Then first thing I'm going to go to the retouch on Facetune. By the way, we're using Facetune today. So I'm going to click on the smooth, um, what's it called? Then I'm just going to smooth under the eye close to the frontal and then the hair so usually when i am doing for the front i don't do on top of the hairline i do between the lace and the person's skin so it can look seamless so after that i'm going to go to the paint tool and then look for the sky blue so i usually use the sky blue for the eyes so this is going to add more details to the picture so once i do for the outer corners which are the white part and then in between the red and the white i do it slightly and then i'm going to use the erase tool to clean out some parts got the sky blue thing Then once I'm done, I'm going to go back to paint and then click on the blush area and then use the skin tool to find the blush. So sometimes I like to add on the forehead so it blends with the models or the client's face. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to zoom and then get the paint. So for paint, I'm going to be using the black one and then I'm going to use it under the eyeliner or rather on the eyeliner. So I'm going to click on the erase tool and then reduce it so it's not too broad. Then I'm going to repeat the same thing for the other part. That's the left eye or the right eye, whichever one is facing you. So once I'm done with this, I am going to save it so usually i don't just leave it to the end if you watch the video you see that most of the percentage i use is um 40 30 to 40 so i don't let it go past that one so it doesn't look too plastic i just added black to the hair and i'm going to reduce it so it's not too black or too brown so this just helps define the hair so now i'm going to do for her outfit we don't want the, the body popping and the outfit is looking dull so we're going to add a little red to it so after adding it i just said a little shot i'm going to pull it backward a bit so we're doing right there 28 i think yeah so you're going to save it now And then once you're done, you're going to go to the details in the retouch too, and then use it on the eyes, then use it on the hairline. So this just helps accentuate or rather define the eyes and the hairline. So now I'm going to crop the picture. You remember I made a screenshot earlier so then after that i'm going to go back to the edit one and then add color so now it depends on your picture so don't say i used 30 percent here in my picture you want to keep using 30 percent come on my light setup is different from your light setup 
and we both have different backgrounds to get. So try to do something that fits that picture. So I'm going to click on the blur or rather focus um, tool and then I'm going to do for the background and then I'm going to erase, you know, the parts that are close to the ear, sorry, the hair and the ear, yeah. So then after that, I'm going to go back to edit and then use the vignette tool. And then once I'm done, I'm going to erase the skin so it doesn't look too dark because we don't want it to look different from the face. So you guys, this is what it looks like. So now I'm going to save and then send to my other phone and then post. By the way, I made a video on how I edit um, my reels for Instagram and sh um, short form and for TikTok. If you've not seen that video, I'm going to leave it up there. So go check that video. If you're new to this channel, hello there. Sorry, I was supposed to do this before, but I just wanted to go straight to this video so I don't take so much of your time. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was really insightful. Don't forget to share with your friends. And um, is there anything you'd want to see here on my channel? Don't forget to leave it in the comments. And I promise you guys, I am going to come through. I love you all to the moon and back. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.